Hello, everyone. We are painting beads today. And I'm going to show you how I like to do it. This is Robin from Center Street Decor, SVGs and more, where I create um, SVG files for your Glowforge and other laser printers. And I like to do it for all of the seasons. So right now we are celebrating summer and I have got some really cute files. So if you missed um, the live that we worked on last week, we painted some adorable little bees and beehives. So if you missed those two lives, go back and watch the replay. I would love to, for you to check them out. This was such a fun file to create and it was really fun to paint, pretty easy to paint too. It'll be great, a great seller for those of you who like to, to sell at craft fairs or sell online. So they're great. They would be great sellers. So what we're doing today is I um, we're painting beads, of course, but I have made some um, beaded garland tags. So this is going to be one of the tags, the beehives. And let me show you kind of a finished bead garland. This was a Valentine's Day one that I did. And then it has all these different beads on here. And then we're going to be making a tassel this week too for our beaded garland. So today we're going to paint the beads for our beaded garlands. But I'm going to bring you down so I can show you um, any, I'm going to show you a few of the files that that I have for our beaded garlands. I'm gonna trade those glasses for these over here. So we have, here's, here is one of the beaded garlands. It's gonna be a beehive and it's gonna have an extra piece at the top and I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So fresh honey, and then we have one that says be kind. I'll turn it around so you can see it. So this is the one. And so it has just a hole at the top so we can put our twine through it. And then we'll string all our beads on once we get those ready. So, but today we're going to just, we're going to paint beads. Oh, so here is the third one. So there's a set of three and they all come together in the same file. So this is our darling little honey pot with our flower, our cute little bee. And it comes with a honey stick, a honey dipper. I think it's called a honey dipper. You dip it in the jar to get your honey out. So those will, those go together. So that is what we're making our beads for. So our beaded garlands. So I'm going to set these aside and show you what we have for our beads. So these are a few that I, I painted earlier today. And um, I've just got them drying in here. They're dry now. I had to go run my dogs to the, the groomer today. So these are just some that I painted earlier. So what I did with my um, little beehive file is I just laid out a bunch of bees and beads in a row and decided, you know, different combinations, small, medium, and large. So I've got a large one here and a small one here. And then I decided what colors I wanted. So what I did is I just kind of did a, a, just a sketch, a rough draft of you know, small, medium, and large, and then what color I wanted them. And then I just put them in little baggies just to separate them for now. So these are all just going to stay a natural color. So those will not need to be painted. I've already painted the brown, and I think I only need three of the large brown. So, and then I painted the ivory ones. So the ivory are all ready to go. The ivory's ready to go. And then our brown beads are ready to go so the only other ones that we need to paint are we need to paint our gold and our black so my favorite way of painting beads is to use bowls and i know you saw them on a skewer but i will show you that when we get to there so let me get a few bowls and these are just just your regular bowls, nothing fancy about them. So let's go ahead and we'll do our gold, our gold first. And this is the same color 
that I painted our beehives. So I'm just using the same color right here. So we're going to do our gold right here. And I'm just going to squirt just kind of just kind of a line right there. And we may need to add more. I always like to have a baby wipe because sometimes the beads jump out of the bowl all by themselves. I don't know how it happens. Okay, so here's all of the ones that I want to be gold. And then what I do is I just start swirling them. So I definitely can see that I need, I'm gonna need a little bit more paint. So I'm just gonna take and just put another little line. You could do a little blob too, blob, I've done a blob before, or I've done, I like to do the lines. See, he just jumped out. So I have my baby wipe to wipe off my, my surface area. Okay, looks like I'm going to need a little bit more paint. So they're getting covered. And I if I add too much paint, then it's just, it's too much. And then you almost just have to keep adding extra beads. And so... Sometimes that's why I just do a little bit of paint at a time. Okay, looking pretty good. If you find any are clumped up together and just will not let go of each other, just kind of just push them away from each other. Okay, and then when I think that it has pretty good coverage, then I take a second bowl. Oh, that one just ran away. He didn't want to be in the bowl. Okay, so I take a second bowl. And what that's going to do is it's just going to kind of get rid of any excess paint thing that you have. Sorry, this is probably noisy. I've got some large, large and medium and small beads in here. And those look pretty good. To me, they don't have to be completely covered, but we're just going to set those aside and we're going to move along to our black. Got a couple bowls here. And I am getting really low on black paint. So I hope I have enough. Okay. So here's my little package that says black. So I know that these are all going to be black. Yep, I had plenty of paint, so these are covered really good. So let's jump into here. OK. 
Okay, so that's all I do with my beads. And what I what I usually do is I just every few minutes I just go ahead and shake a bead. I shake the beads so that they they don't dry onto the on so they don't dry onto the bowl. Let's keep them going. Now I did have my skewer sticks. Now let me just show you um, why I had my skewer sticks. So sometimes when you do this method, you will get like the center part will get really light. And if you don't mind that look, you can just leave it just like that. Um, sometimes if you get some beads that are not fully covered, you might have some beads that have some white areas and, and these are actually not too bad. But what I'm gonna do is if you want, and I just keep using these sticks over and over. So what you might want to do, if you get some beads that don't have full coverage, if you want to fix them just a little bit, shake up those beads. I'm just going to take a, one of my sponges. Let's cut it into a quarter. So we only need just a small little smidgen piece. Okay, so now that I have my little paint here, and you can just do a little bit of touch up if you want to do a little bit of touch up. So that's a handy thing to do if you have some areas that you want to fill in. So, and they dry pretty quick. You can see that they dry pretty quick in the bowls. Just dab a few areas if you find you want to just clean up. And, and I don't do all of the beads like this. I mean, some people like to paint them on a stick and you know, that's another option too. You can do that too. Hi, Jennifer. So I'm painting beads today, getting ready to do our, our beehive beaded garlands. So that's it. So I can see there's a little bit of white. Sometimes the paint rubs off in the center where it rolls on the bowl. And you can clean that up if you want. I mean, you can paint it if you want. I don't mind that so much. I don't mind it to have a little bit of a tone. And then once I put them on a stick, then I'll just lay them in the bowl and just let them dry. see how these are doing these look like they're feeling pretty dry so they don't take long at all to dry but what I want to do with our our gold beads is let me make sure I have good coverage on let's see there might be one right here that I think I'm going to do I'm going to paint some little black dots on the gold I think it was on the on the gold ones that I was going to do. Yep. So the gold are going to have little black dots. So let's go ahead and just, I'm going to put them on this stick and that will probably help me do my little dots. Get a little bit better coverage. And I'm just gonna do it just to the medium size. So I'm gonna pick all my medium size out of here because I have small, medium, and large in there. So we're just gonna put them on the skewer. Here's a couple more. Oh, do you, do you use a bowl too, Jennifer? You use a heat gun. I've tried to use a heat gun and Sometimes I get too much paint and then I get them really thick on there, but sometimes I guess I would use a heat gun if they're not drying. When I do them in small batches, they usually dry pretty quick. Okay, I think I've got all of my medium size out of there. So we'll set those aside and let's just fill in maybe a couple that need a little bit of 
filling in. Okay, they look pretty good. Okay, so you use a plate or a bowl. Yeah, I know if I used a plate, they would all just, they would get up and just run away. I have trouble with keeping them in the bowl sometimes. Okay, so I've got those ready. And that little bit I put on there won't take much time at all to dry. So let's go ahead and just put some dots on here. And I'm going to get my black paint out of here. I need to get... Actually, I need to get a, actually, we'll just use a bowl. I don't know. I'm trying to think, what can I put my paint on? Because I don't have any of my styrofoam plates handy. So I'm going to grab a piece of tin foil. Okay. Because I want it to sit flat on here because I've got to poke it with um, our little double-ended ball stick so I can put some little dots. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to use the small end and I'm just going to dip and put just some random dots. And I can see the bead wants to move on me. So some of my dots are more like a, a line, but that's okay. you see? Oh, where are we? Oh, there we are. I'm struggling with the camera. <laughs> but that's pretty cute, huh? So let's do some more. Takes a lot of concentration, you guys, to make little dots. Little dots on these balls, so I'm really concentrating here. I think this will look really cute on one of our beaded garlands for a beehive. Maybe on one of some of the black beads, I can do a little bit on there too, dots on some of the black. Oh, that one just that one just slid, but it's okay. Once you get it in the beaded garland, it will just it will all look just fine. Okay, we've got four down, four more to go. I'm almost kind of doing a, a pattern now it seems like I just go down the middle 
and then go around down the outside. Just go down the center. I think we can use one right there. And sometimes the bees, the beads get a little bit. They start rotating on you when you don't want them to. Okay, we're getting there. Cute, huh? Those little dots on the beads, those are pretty cute. And some are large dots and some are small. And that's okay. I'm okay with them being different, a little bit different sizes. It will all blend together. Okay, one more. It's tricky because I don't have, there we go. Let me put my hands a little closer to it. Otherwise my stick was just bouncing around. It was hard to get my dot where I wanted it to go. Oh, I just touched one of the other beads. That one right there, smudged it a little bit with my finger. Do you see? I have little dots on my finger. <laughs> That's okay. It's just a little smudge. If I need to go in and fill it with a little bit of gold paint, I can do that. But these are really cute. You just lay them on our plate. And then they can dry. The first ones are probably dry. It was just that one that I painted second to last that I stuck my finger in and got paint on me, got little dots on me. Okay, I'm trying to see if we want to do something on these beads. If we want to do, I wonder if we could do like little lines or if I could do, should do polka dots on them. Because I know with the gold ones, I'm doing I'm doing one of the um, combinations is the black, the gold, and then the black. Let's see. One of the combinations is, yeah, the gold, the black. Oh, and I think I was going to do this. I was going to do one of the, oh, a natural one. Natural is the ones that I didn't paint. Right, so here's the combination. The black and the gold. And then one of the naturals. So maybe I won't paint any of those. So maybe we'll just keep them just like that. Let's just keep them like that and just have just the gold ones painted. Cute, cute, huh? Okay, you guys. Well, that is our painted beads. And I hope that you will paint some beads, give it a try. It's pretty easy. It's easy to do. And it definitely doesn't take long to do it all. So um, we've got several beads. So when I did my um, my church class the other day, I had to paint some beads. We did um, the 4th of July um, tags. Those are in the Etsy shop. But we did the 4th of July tags. And those turned out really, really cute. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have a fabulous day. And if I have a chance to come on, I know I have to go mow the lawn today. 
And I am going to got to pick up the pets from the dogs from the groomer. But um, if I can get on and do some of our um, our tassels, um, I will show you how to do that. So those are really fun too. So with that, we're going to use our tassel maker that is available in the shop. And I'll show you um, how to make a tassel. So it's super easy with this tool. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and we will talk to you later. As soon as I can get back on here, I will. See you later. Bye.